Hello and welcome to this video. Meghan Markle's grandfather Alvin Ragland was rushed to hospital after tripping on a dog leash and died nine days later. As Meghan Markle and Prince Harry mark their first Father's Day with son Archie, there will be one key male family member who will most likely be in the Duchess's thoughts. Meghan's adored maternal grandfather Alvin Ragland died in 2011 in a freak accident outside the LA home he shared with daughter Doria. The Duchess, then 29, was almost 3,000 miles away in Toronto, filming the TV series Suits when the tragedy happened. Alvin, 82, had been walking his dog on a sunny March lunchtime when he tripped over the animal's leash after it got tangled around his ankles. He was found unconscious by neighbours just 200 feet from his front door and rushed to hospital where he died nine days later. A coroner's report seen by the Daily Mail stated, according to his daughter, neighbors found the decedent lying in the street at approximately 1200 hours on the 3rd of March, 2011. The decedent had apparently been walking his dog when he tripped and the leash was found wrapped around one of his ankles. Alvin was found to have bleeding on the brain he underwent surgery but never regained consciousness and died on March the 12th. His death was ruled as an accident. A family source told the Daily Mail, Meghan loved her grandfather very much and he absolutely loved her. He would have loved to have seen her fall in love and marry Prince Harry and she would have loved him to live to see it too. Jolly Alvin was described by one pal as well dressed larger than life, always happy, and having an impressive afro. He spent his Sundays at an LA market selling an eclectic collection of antiques. He also specialized in second-hand designer shoes. Eva Miara, whose stand is close to where Alvin worked, said Alvin was such a nice guy. I loved him. I thought he was homeless because of the car. He was a humble man. The royal connection is amazing, I'm shocked. Ava, 54, said Alvin drove a battered car and his goods were priced too highly and he didn't manage to sell a great deal. He married Jeanette Johnson and they went on to have a daughter, Doria. They relocated from Ohio to LA but divorced not long after. Ivan, age 53, remarried Ava Burrow who was 29 but the relationship didn't last. He enjoyed stints working at various antique shops. Alvin used to work with Edward Jr., Ingram's father, and he said the Duchess's grandfather was a little roguish, spoke his mind, and was chasing women all his life. Meanwhile, as we previously reported, Meghan has been branded a breath of fresh air ever since she was introduced to the world as Prince Harry's girlfriend in 2016. The former actress, writer, humanitarian, and by her own admission, pretty good cook, is what many believe redefining what it means to be a royal. Before she was thrust into the spotlight as 34-year-old Harry's future wife, she had already forged her own identity as one of the stars of the TV series Suits. The 37-year-old regularly documented her life with her now defunct blog, The Tig as well as her Instagram account, where she shared snaps of her travels and gave fans a glimpse inside her impeccably designed home. The former divorcee, who welcomed her first baby with Harry on May the 6th, doesn't have an aristocracy-laden family tree either. She enjoyed a fairly typical upbringing, having been born and raised in Los Angeles by a free-spirited, yoga-loving clinical therapist for a mum, who nicknamed her Flower and a hard-working television lighting director for her father. Click here to read some of the ways the Duchess of Sussex has redefined what it means to be a royal and put her own stamp on royal family protocol, from her clothing to behaviour. Thank you for watching this video. For the latest in celebrity news, please subscribe to my channel.